Hi you guys, this is Trang. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something special. Look at this background. We are at my mom's house. It took me an hour to drive here. Look at the green thumb that she has. My mom's been asking for a grocery bag, like a, a handbag that she can take to uh, go do shopping with, but also maybe go out to dinner if she needs to. And look what I have. So we are going to surprise her. Let's see. All right, you guys, my mom does not want to be on video because she doesn't have her makeup and hair on. <laughs> so we're just going to see her hands. My mommy, my hand. Mm. Nhưng mà con nói mommy cái này nó rất là sang mà ừ. nó cũng dùng bình thường được đi chợ. Ừ. 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 Giờ mới có đồ chơi mới vậy? Ừ. Mommy có đồ chơi mới rồi <cười> Tụng cái này thì về tụng cái kia này Tùm lúc mới giữ đi nai Để tại mommy hả? Tự nhiên mommy có nhiều thứ quá nè Mommy con nếu mà không có dùng cái cái đồ mà đỏ đỏ hứng thì để mới để được quạt nhưng mà không có hứng thì mà mới hay đổ mấy cấp rồi đó đổ mấy cấp cho vô trong nha mấy cấp đó thầy kia cài nè cái đó nó có mấy cái pocket á để mấy cái son của má vô đó đây đây, đây nó có thêm nè nhiều mà để dễ kiếm mà mấy hay bị mất đồ á trong cái bóp má có cả đống rác mà <cười> <cười> Okay, so my mom was packing the, the bag kind of weirdly, but this is all that can fit inside. She has a giant bottle of hand sanitizer, a roll of coins, some floss, a 10 billion toothpick, her eye drops, hearing aids with the battery, some oh, lipstick. Yeah, some eye stuff, lip stuff. Here's more battery. Mom, má có cần khi nguyên cái này không? Okay, fine. She wants to carry the whole thing. Snacks. More coins, because you apparently can never have enough coins. Uh, maybe that's why I hate coins. Because <laughs> I grow up with my mom. Her car insurance. Let's put it. Here. Sao má không bỏ cái cái Instagram xe trong xe mà lại bỏ trong bóp nữa? Okay. Then uh, she has her fan. Her reading glasses. It goes on top. There you go. Rồi mà mày còn gì nữa không? Còn thêm cái nữa. Ok. Rồi dẹp hả? Để bỏ ngay cái chỗ cái mắt của mấy á. Okay, so that's her uh, house, it seems like, that packed into the Kelly medium. And we're going to close it. It closed comfortably, and we can lock it. Everything fits. It looks pretty elegant. This one, I am gifting my mom. She was in the market for just a semi-casual handbag that she can use to go to the grocery store with. And I figured this might do the trick. She was deciding between two bags. She didn't know what she wanted, so I ordered both of them. This is the first one. We're going to have a look. It is the Chanel Kelly size medium with silver hardware. On my previous purchase with E Lady, the box came intact. This one, the box is kind of uh, crushed right here, so hopefully it doesn't 
affect the handbag. My other things were shipped within four days. This handbag was not in their warehouse. It was sold in their store. So processing did take longer. How you would find that out is the listing will have a GZ in front of it. And that would mean that it's also in their store. It took them five days to package it and get it inspected and everything. Then it took another two days for it to come to the US. So in total, the package was here in seven days. <gasps> Look at this bag. Oh my goodness, it's like the perfect size. My mom from the picture was worried that it might be too big, but I measured it and you know I figured this would be a great size for her and I think she's going to love it. So let's inspect the condition. Woo! I'm excited. Ooh. While I'm tearing this up, let me give you more info on this bag. If you're looking for the same bag, most of them do get sold for about $3,000. I was lucky to find this one at $2,397. The reason their price was discounted was because it did not come with an authenticity card. However, having an authenticity card just reinsures that the handbag is authentic, but there's other ways of authenticating a bag. Um, also, when you go to resell it, for example, Fashion File, they do not give you extra money for having things called accessories such as a box, your authenticity card, dust bag, things like that. They don't offer you any more money than, you know, if you just sold them the bag alone. That's one of the reasons why if you look on their website, so many bags uh, don't have boxes. Anyhow, if I had gotten an excellent um, condition Ooh. Oh, the zipper was straight. An excellent condition bag of the same nature. It would run me about after tax and shipping, whether I buy it in Japan or here in the US, maybe around 3,200. So I saved myself $1,000 by not having the plastic card. I have bags with a authenticity card before and honestly, it just sits in the box. It's not like you're gonna flash the card to anybody and because it doesn't really increase its resale value when you sell it back to companies and I personally don't like listing things on eBay and selling it myself just because there's so many scammers maybe they take your bag and then they said they didn't receive it or they received it and said it doesn't fit description so they send you back a fake you know there's all sorts of stuff so normally if I do outgrow something I just sell it back to fashion file and yeah they don't care if you have box dust bag cards anything like that what do you guys think perfect size the condition looks pretty awesome let's look at corner corners are perfect there is no corner wear whatsoever the base what is this Looks like it's just a little dirt. We're gonna go ahead and clean this bag in a second. I'm going to go ahead and use my Coach leather cleaner. Yes, and let's clean the base. I'm just gonna give it a wipe down because I don't know what the old owner used if they ever cleaned it at all. Guys. Back then they did the hardware so nice. There's no scratches whatsoever. So that's that. It's been cleaned. Let's look at the base. Yeah. See that spot? There's like a tiny dirty spot there. So I'm just going to condition it with the open off now. Open off, I like to use my hand because your hand warms up the cream and makes it soak into the leather because this is a vintage bag it's gonna be very dry so the open off is gonna give it new life you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with my Co Chanel Coco Handle Mimi right just because it has this god-awful 
divider making you know the compartment so small i really can't fit much in there and uh, it's it still has this packaging and the sticker on it because i've bought this bag out maybe one time out of this closet i spent four thousand dollars on it oh i wish i had seen the bag in real life before i purchased it but it was such a popular bag that they didn't have it real life for me to see so ay, 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 ay. bad purchase i looked for an alternative and i came across this i thought it was perfect it has the aesthetic of the cocoa handle it's only a little bit bigger see just a tiny bit bigger but oh i love this look at the opening isn't that nice it's just wide and open and you can put so much stuff inside it and it's leather lined so I did a quick math. I paid 2,397 minus the 10% off coupon, which saved me $240. Came out to be $2,157. Then because it was shipped from Japan, I also paid $194.13 of tax and import fee, another $15 to get it expedited uh, with DHL. So in total for this purse, I paid $2,366.13. I paid $3,900 something dollars for this. And oh, I could have kicked myself in the ass. While I was looking at the Coco Handle Mini, I knew it had the divider because I've seen reviews on YouTube, but I did not know how limiting that divider would be, you guys. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. So I should have gone with this originally, but I like that the Coco handle has a shoulder strap, which I will show you. I thought it would be way convenient because I have a toddler if I purchase a bag with a shoulder strap. So all in all, I'm like, okay, it comes with gold hardware, whereas um, because this is a vintage bag, they don't have it in gold hardware. Um, at that time, they only made them with silver hardware. So I like the gold hardware. I like that it had the shoulder strap, so I went with this, but it's the worst almost $4,000 that I have spent in my life, only because I don't use it. And it's like brand new with stickers. Oh, I can't, I can't stand it, y'all. Anyhow, knowing that this bag didn't have a shoulder strap, I went ahead and made one. If you guys are interested, I will have a video up on how you can make it. You basically can make a strap for any bag that has a D-ring. See? And now you have, guess what? Shoulder straps. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And look at this back pocket. Oh my gosh, look how big it is. You can fit a phone, unlike this one. I love that it has a back pocket, but you can't fit in anything here. Maybe like a business card or something. But just the aesthetic of it. I love purses with back pocket, especially Chanel bags. I feel like it's so classic. Oh, you guys, I am so in love with this bag. What do I do? <laughs> Have you ever purchased a gift for somebody that you're like, mm, dang, I should have bought it for myself. Maybe I buy another one exactly like this because, you know, they have it all available. I just have to pay a little bit more. But what do you guys think? It's so beautiful. Look at the condition. Oh, okay, now we're going to do mod shot. That's my son. Hit it. <laughs> all right. We have the Coco Handle Mini on one hand. Oh, mommy have to wear, okay. And this is the medium Kelly. So let's compare the strap difference because I made my own strap so I can customize it if I need it shorter or longer or anything like that. Ooh, the Coco Mini, since I didn't make it, when you cross body it, it's very short. I am only five feet, one and a half. So it's short on me. I can't imagine anybody who's taller than me being able to crossbody this bag. Right now, it's a bit uh, uncomfortable. It's hitting me in the rib right here where the handle is. Oh, thank 
you, Hayden. And then the medium, since I know my mom's using this to go to the grocery store, I made the strap a little bit longer for her so that she can crossbody it at a comfortable... Oh, oh, okay. Okay, mommy will wear. Mommy wear after, okay? <laughs> so I made it so that no. she can comfortably crossbody it. This, and it's right where her hand is so she can open and close the clasp. Do, do, do. Like so. Much more convenient, I feel like. The handle on the Kelly... Oh my goodness, Hayden. The handle on the Kelly Medium is flat underneath. It's very comfortable. The handle of the Coco Mini is... Okay. <laughs> is round. And they did the binding underneath. So it's a it digs into you just a little bit whenever you're wearing it. It's really rough. The Coco Handle Mini does have feet, whereas the Kelly does not. This version doesn't. There is a version if you really need to have feet, you can find them. But I was looking for more of a like a new condition handbag, which this one is, and I didn't care if it had feet or not. Personally, if I had to do it all over again, I would have never bought my Mini and I would have just bought this. Not only is it more cost effective, it's more practical. You get the same look, but you can carry so much more. So if you guys like this, can't find it in store because it's sold out, or you can't afford it, this is such a good option. So there they are side by side. So we have these two beauties. Which one do you guys like? Do you like the practicalness of the Kelly Medium? Or do you like the cuteness of the Coco Chanel handbag?